what's going on guys i'm ryan welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today in this video let's have a look at this email app a1 home security camera i already tested a few from xiaomi this is another one so let's start with a really quick unboxing and then i'll tell you everything about this camera and then we're going to do our series of tests as per usual if you're not a subscriber to the channel guys please consider subscribing thank you very much for your support all right let's do a really quick unboxing and then we'll talk about the specs okay guys so typical xiaomi box you can see here the model of the camera a few specs here already on the side baby crying detection motion tracking 360 panoramic and here on the side 3 million hd pixels h265 encoding and infrared night vision let me remove everything for you guys okay so we have the camera here and we have this box of goodies so there's not much to it so you have a user manual you have the mounts to put the camera on the wall or on the ceiling if you wish to and you have a usb cable so there's no usb charger or usb brick in the box so you need to supply your own Last but not least, of course, we have the camera here. Okay, guys, let's do a quick walk around the camera. So, matte white all around, and we have this big area with the black matte finish, and we have the lens in the middle and a, a ring where you have the infrared lights for night vision. So, we have the lens there on the front, Emilab logo there. On the back here, we can see the speaker for the two-way audio communication. And here on the back we can see the reset button it's not one of those tiny also it's a proper button and the charging port in this case a micro usb at the bottom of the camera you just have the place for the wall mount so if you want to put the camera upside down on on the wall on the ceiling whatever so that's basically it so if you tilt the camera up you can see the sd card slot there up to 256 gigs that's basically it guys so we have it will tilt automatically using its own motors and according to emilab silent motors as well and it will rotate 360 degrees you shouldn't do this by hand i'm doing it just for the sake of the video hope i don't break anything i'm sure it's fine so that's the camera it looks good tiny i did a review of some other models the outdoor version without any wires the new 2k that was the first one i reviewed the emi lab the h265 check out the reviews i'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check it out today let's focus on this a1 so guys resolution 2304 by 1296 aperture f 2.1 and it supports h265 decoding pretty nice stuff According to the manufacturer, he has an upgraded tracking function with silent motors, human detection, 360 degrees, panoramic monitoring and baby cry detection. Like we've seen before, night vision, infrared lights over there, the view angle will be 110. In terms of storage, of course you can use the SD card there up to 256 gigs or use a 7 day free rolling email app cloud storage encrypted storage according to them we're going to test all this good stuff in the minute including the two-way audio communication the app and the video quality one thing that worth mention is this camera only supports the wi-fi at the 2.4 gigahertz band okay guys so before we go any further let's see how silent these motors are Let's do a quick comparison between this one and the other two Xiaomi cameras we tested. So let's do our series of tests. Sit back, relax, get some popcorn. Let's do this. All right, guys. So let's pair the camera with the Xiaomi Home app really quick and then We'll proceed to the rest of the tests so over here just need to press that 
plus sign and here on the camera tab you see loads of models let's search for ours in this case this is the a1 i don't know if you guys can see it here me home security camera a1 Waiting for connection. next you need to put your wi-fi network and password Waiting for connection. next and now we just need to show the qr code to the camera like this Very easy, very straightforward. Parent to account completed device online. Next, you'll be asked where the camera is in your home. In this case, let's just say, for example, studio. Next, we can call it Emilab. Done. Next. As you guys can see, I have more devices here on the Xiaomi Home app. And that's it, guys. Really simple. So you are presented with the same menu as we've seen before. For some reason, we have some minions there. All right, so <laughs> there's a joystick lookalike buttons here, so you can turn left or right there, tilt down, up, like so. Okay, so let's have a look at the video quality. One I think I just noticed is there's a firmware update, so let's do it before I proceed to any test. Okay, so the firmware update, it's now completed. Let's have a look really quick here on the app. So we have the camera settings, minions mode on or off. So that's that Sat status light there. So it's that LED light. You guys can see it there on or off. Sleep settings, so you can turn the camera off when you don't want the camera to record anything in your home, for example, during nighttime or when you arrive at home. Full color, low light, let's leave it on for now. Rotate image, just in case if you want to put the camera on the ceiling, something like that. Image settings, so that's the watermark. Lens distortion correction on. Wide dynamic range, let's turn it on for now. Moving on, you have the own monitoring, which means if the camera detects something, it will send you an alert and it will record the clip inside the app itself, just in case if someone nicks the camera. And here you can set the monitoring time, 24 hours, daytime surveillance, nighttime surveillance, or you can customize a schedule here and you can select the start time and the end time. Over here you can see alert sensitivity, so you can set it high or low, let's leave it high, and the time intervals between the alerts, let's put it to three minutes, move tracking on so the camera will track any movement, baby cry detection, let's turn it on as well, and alert message notification, it will send an alert to your phone when a motion is detected, so let's turn it on as well. And you have two more options, human movement that was detected, let's turn it on, and baby is crying. Let's turn it on as well. So everything on for now. It's already moving. As you guys can tell there. It's looking at us. Let's, let's turn the home monitoring off for now. Storage settings. As we've seen before, you can use the NAS drive. Recording mode, you can set it all recording. So it will start deleting the old videos. Only record when a motion is detected or disable video recording. So there's no recording at all. Let's leave it on at all times. Here you can see the status of the SD card. Moving on, you got the network info. It will tell you the signal strength of the Wi-Fi, device name, manage locations, same stuff we've seen before. So at the moment it's at the studio, as you guys can see. Automation, you can use it with some other Xiaomi devices, for example, plus if for example, motion detected, this is just an example, guys. If motion detection, then you, you can, for example, turn the lights on or off on my desk lamp. So when something happens now, it will turn my light on or off. That's something that you can play with. So let's leave it alone for now check for firmware updates and additional settings here at the bottom of the screen you got the home monitoring so all the clips will be saved there we're going to have a look at that in the minute playback you can play back all the files recorded 
in the SD card, photo album when you take a picture, for example, let's do one now. So if I do a picture, then if you go to photo album, it will be there with the date and the time. This will be set by your local time zone, I believe, shortcut slip or camera calibration. So that's basically it for that. Very straightforward. If you want to start a video, just press that icon there and it will record a video. You can have a look there on the photo album, the video just did. And if you go to full screen here, you can see in full screen, you can use the same joystick to pan the camera. You can hear what's going on. Hello? Speaking of that, I'm going to the other room to test the two-way audio communication. I'm going to leave the camera as it is now. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the camera is in another location right there, as you guys can see, and we're getting a live feed of what's going on on the camera. So this is a nice comparison of the living room with what we can see it on the camera. So this is a nice comparison of the living room with what we can see it on the camera. So the view angle. Hopefully it's wide enough. Of course you can use, like I mentioned, the joystick to rotate the camera, tilt, all that good stuff. So this is a sound picked from the camera's microphone. I'm more or less about one meter away. All right, guys, so let's test the own monitoring now. So the camera is there. I'm going to try to walk in front of the camera and see if you can get a notification on our phone. So let's set the own monitoring. So here, let's turn everything on 24 hours. Eye sensitivity, move tracking on, baby crying, human movement detected on as well. All right, so let's try it. Go back, exit the app. Put the phone on standby, I've got the Android phone there as well. So let's walk right in front of the camera and see if we can get a notification really quick. All right, let's do this. The camera is moving. So far, nothing. I think we just passed right in front of the camera and nothing. I'm going to put the phone there. Nothing so far. So no alerts, I think the camera is a bit lost to be honest with you guys. And yeah, we finally received something, motion detection, event is triggered and we got the time there. So let's have a look, drink. And there's one alert there, 1622. And again, same issue we had. With the previous camera we test, there's only two seconds, in this case, three seconds preview. We should get a bigger preview, to be honest with you guys. But the way around, go to playback, and you can see two alerts there. Press that one. And here, it's all the clips we did. And because we know something happened, we just go direct to the time there and play it back. Finally received something. Yeah, 
you guys, uh, it took quite a while to be honest with you. Um, I thought it was a slightly faster. The internet in this place is not the best either, to be honest. I believe with a better internet, the alerts will be much faster. All right, let's now test the night vision. Before that, let me just show you this button here, guys. So if you press that button there, you will see a timeline of what happened. In this case, it's in red and then you can push it backwards and it will play it. So you can get the button to play it live or see what happened. So you can scrub back and forth to see what happened on that specific moment. And you can play it four times, for example, it will be quicker. This is quite handy if you want to search for anything in particular at a, a, a specific point in time. All right, guys, let's now test the night vision. Okay, so the camera, it's right there. It's still daytime, but it's pretty dark inside. I'm going to turn the lights off in a minute. When I have the phone here, so we can see a live feed, full screen in this case. So let's turn the lights off. So let's turn the lights off. Let's turn this one off as well. I've got the ISO 2500, so lights off. In this, okay, so the camera just changed it to night vision. Let's have a look if you can see the infrareds. Yeah, we can see the infrareds there. And on the phone here, we can see quite in detail, guys. Of course, you can pan the camera. We can see quite in detail, guys. Of course, you can pan the camera. It's not really night time in full. You can see some light there on the door. Of course, on the camera here, 2500 ISO, and you can see it. It's pretty dark. Trust me, guys. I'm going to bump the ISO. 12,000 ISO now. Really dark. Let's leave it at 3200. Nice. I'm going to walk to the door so you guys can see me in the dark. You can see where I'm going. Whoops. Whoops. All right, so hope you guys can see me. All right, so hope you guys can see me. Yeah, it's pretty dark as you guys can tell. Still light outside, as you can see the window there, but yeah, not too bad. I really like the view angle as well. All right, guys, so let me know what you think about this camera down below in the comments. Yeah, guys, I think overall good unit, typical Xiaomi camera, quiet motors, the alert was a bit slow, but I think it's due to the slow internet in this place. Image quality is good in terms of specs and features. Typical Xiaomi camera, you got everything you need. I'm going to leave a contact details down below, a link as well to the camera. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button, guys, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and hope I can see you all in the next video.